Vincent has been called the proto-martyr of Spain. Little is known about the actual events surrounding his life, other than his name, his order of ministry, and the place and time of his martyrdom. He was a native of Huesca, in northeastern Spain, and was ordained deacon by Valerius, bishop of Saragossa. In the early years of the 4th century, the fervent Christian community in Spain fell victim to a persecution ordered by the Roman emperors Diocletian and Maximian. Dacian, governor of Spain, arrested Valerius and his deacon, Vincent, and had them imprisoned at Valencia. According to one legend, Valerius had a speech impediment, and Vincent was often called upon to preach for him. When the two prisoners were challenged to renounce their faith, amid threats of torture and death, Vincent said to his bishop, Father, if you order me, I will speak. Valerius is said to have replied, Son, as I committed you to dispense the word of God, so I now charge you to answer in vindication of the faith which we defend. The young deacon then told the governor that he and his bishop had no intention of betraying the true God. The vehemence and enthusiasm of Vincent's defense showed no caution in his defiance of the judges, and Dacian's fury was increased by this exuberance in Christian witness. Valerius was exiled, but the angry Dacian ordered that Vincent be tortured. Although the accounts of his martyrdom have been heavily embellished by early Christian poets, Augustine of Hippo writes that Vincent's unshakable faith enabled him to endure grotesque punishments and, finally, death. Records of the transfer and present whereabouts of Vincent's relics are of questionable authenticity. We are certain, however, that his cult spread rapidly throughout early Christendom, and that he was venerated as a bold and outspoken witness to the truth of the living Christ. Almighty God, your deacon Vincent, upheld by you, was not terrified by threats nor overcome by torments. Strengthen us to endure all adversity with invincible and steadfast faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever.